For this video, we're going to discuss some of the primary and line commands which can be issued in the IP resource monitor. Primary commands affect the complete list of resources, while the line commands only affect the resource which they are issued against. You can access the IP resource monitor option by using the shortcut slash IP mon, or you can access the IP resource monitor option by selecting M for monitors and an I for IP resource monitor. Primary commands affect the complete list of resources. Entering a question mark will bring up a list of primary commands. These commands only work when issued on the command line or when selected from the list. We will go over the filter and sort primary commands. The filter command will show you only resources that match your criteria. If you type filter on the command line, you will be prompted with a list of several filters that you can choose from. If you select the filter stack, this will show you all the stacks defined on the IP resource monitor screen. Now all that is displayed are the resources defined as a stack. If you know the filter name, you can just type filter stack on the command line to get the same results. To reset the filter, issue filter none or filter off. To add a filter, use slash a as an admin and then f for status monitor filters. Another primary command is sort. It allows the IP resource monitor to be arranged in a particular order. If you type sort and press enter, you will be prompted with a list of sort options. Select ACT stat and you will notice the list is now sorted by the actual resource status. If you know the sort name, then you can just type sort ACT stat on the command line to get the same result. Line commands are typed in front of the selected resource and it only affects that resource. Question mark displays a short list of line commands that you can use for the selected resource type. Question mark question mark displays a full list of line commands that you can use for the selected resource type. This panel lists the applicable commands. Most lists organize the commands into two groups by color, with turquoise indicating specific commands for that resource and green indicating general commands that are available for all resources. The frequently used line commands for the resources are S for information, H for performance history, OV for performance overview, AL for the alert monitor screen, and one question mark for a short list of commands for the resource. We will show you a list of the results of each line commands against a stack resource. When selecting S against a resource, it will give you a display of the resource. The display is specific for the resource type. For example, issuing an S for information against a stack will show you the stack interfaces. Doing an H for history on a stack will give you the history of performance data for the attributes defined in the resource definition. For non-stack resources, the resulting attribute list shows every performance attribute being monitored for the resource. OV displays a performance overview for the resource type you selected. In this case, it will show the most recent performance numbers for all of the stacks defined. The AL option or alert will bring up the alert monitor screen for that resource only. Question mark question mark will display a complete list of line commands that you can use for the selected resource type. On the IP resource monitor screen main menu, you can add resources by pressing PF4 for add. This will add the resource to the running system image. 